Hi there! In this video, I will introduce a technique which helps you to find the solution to a problem. Doesn't that sound lovely? Let's first introduce the technique itself, which consists of four steps, and then we apply it to a problem. The first step is knowledge. In this step, you first look carefully at the question and you extract all information. Make sure that you understand the problem. You can ask yourself the following questions. What is the unknown? What are the given quantities? And what are the given conditions? It is sometimes also useful to draw a picture. Then you do the second step, insight. Now it is time for you to devise a plan to solve the question. That means that you will have to find the connection between the unknown and the information provided in the question. It's common sense, but it usually helps to ask yourself, how can I relate the given to the unknown? This may not be straightforward at all, so don't be discouraged if you don't see a relation immediately. In fact, you could try to recognize something familiar, for instance an exercise that you solved during the course, or set and solve sub-goals in, in order to tackle the final goal. The third step is skill. You execute the plan you designed in the second step, and in this step you use the calculus skills, for instance differentiation, integration, solving equations, etc. you learned during the course. Finally, you perform the final step, solution. This final step consists of writing down your answer to the question. And in case of open questions, you should also provide all the arguments and computations you use to arrive at this answer, because during an exam, you have to show you understood and are able to use what you learned during the calculus course. Furthermore, it is also wise to look back at the original question and check for errors. For instance, the quantity you computed turns out to be negative, whereas it obviously should be positive, like speed. To remember these four steps, you can simply remember the first letters of each step, which gives the acronym KISS. Consider the following problem. You have a 2000 liter tank containing beer with 5% alcohol. That's a lot of these guys. Into the tank, slightly stronger beer of 7% is flowing in at a rate of 20 liters per minute. The tank is always perfectly mixed and the mixture is flowing out at the same rate. These are the two questions. Let us apply the KISS technique to the first part of the question. Show that this differential equation indeed describes the given mixing problem. We start with the first step, knowledge. For this question, it is instructive to draw a picture like this and use it to denote the given quantities in the question. The unknown, actually you already know what it should be in this case, is the differential equation. And recall that the differential equation is an equation that describes a rate of change of a quantity. Alright, step two, insight. It's time to come up with a plan. The first important idea is that the rate of change can be written as the rate in minus the rate out. This reduces the problem to finding the rate in and rate out. Furthermore, the variable y denotes the amount of alcohol, while the question provides alcohol percentages. You can relate this to via the formula alcohol percentage is amount of alcohol divided by volume. Combining the previous observations gives this symbolic differential equation. Okay, we finished our plan. It is time to carry out the computations in the next step, skill. The inflow is 20 liters per minute of beer of 7% alcohol. So the rate in of alcohol is 1.4 liters per minute. The rate out of alcohol is trickier. The outflow is also 20 liters per minute, but what's the alcohol percentage in the tank? Well, that's the variable y, the amount of alcohol, divided by 2000 liters. So the rate out is y divided by 2000 times 20 liters per minute, 
which simplifies to y divided by 100. Finally, combining the rate in and rate out gives indeed the required differential equation. To find the initial condition, we go again that we are considering the amount of alcohol. Since the initial, since the initial alcohol percentage of the tank is 5%, this means 5% of 2000 liters, which gives 100 liter of alcohol at t equal to zero. This finishes the third step. The final step, solution, where you write down the answer in an organized manner, could look like this. Okay, this was part A of the question. Let's see how to use KISS for part B, where we have to compute the alcohol percentage after one hour. The unknown here is the alcohol percentage after 60 minutes. This might be obvious, but it is still, still good practice to focus on the unknown. Of course, we know the differential equation from part A. So, in the inside step, we try to relate these two. Well, if we could solve the differential equation, that is, find an explicit function y of t that satisfies the given differential equation, we would know how much alcohol there is in the tank at any time t, in particular for t equal to 60 minutes. Computing the percentage is then straightforward. Perhaps you recognize here a problem you did before, and you discover that the differential equation is in fact a separable differential equation where the function of t is equal to 1. So we have a plan. Solve the separable differential equation. Thus next, we apply our calculus skills. First, note that we can rewrite the differential equation like this, which simplifies the computations. During the course, you learned that you can bring all the terms involving y to the left and all terms involving t to the right. Next, we put integral signs on both sides and we try to find the desired antiderivatives. These are relatively straightforward, but note the minus sign on the left. It comes from using the substitution u is equal to 140 minus y. Check this yourself. Multiply with minus 1 and take exponentials to get rid of the logarithm. The absolute value signs are also annoying, so we get rid of these as well. Finally, rewriting gives an expression for y, where the constant k replaces the old constant plus or minus e to the power minus c. In order to find the value of k, we use the initial condition, y0 is equal to 100. This gives k is equal to 40. This means we have found the desired function y of t. y equals 140 minus 40 times e to the power minus 0.01 times t. Plugging in t is 60 gives the amount of alcohol after one hour. Turning this into a percentage gives the desired answer. Hooray! We got it! Let's celebrate with one of these. Oh no, wait a second. There's still the final step of KISS, solution. Write down the answer, including all computation steps and arguments, and also check for errors. For instance, observe that the function y increases to 140 as t goes to infinity. So eventually, the alcohol percentage will be 7% in the tank. Which makes perfect sense, since beer with 7% alcohol is flowing into the tank and the mixture is flowing out, so 7% will be the alcohol percentage of the tank in equilibrium. Well, I ho hope you enjoyed KISS and will consider it a useful technique for your exam and even future career. Cheers! <laughs>